Is music sampling stealing? I found a lot of people got this question in their head, including me years ago. So today I want to talk about it. Is music sampling creating or stealing? Hey, welcome to my channel. I'm Michael. I share my thoughts and tips on music creation, which are cheaper and healthier, in my opinion. This video is sponsored by Tracklib, and I will talk about it later. Are you an instrument player who put a lot of time and effort mastering a certain song, or just even a few phrases? I don't know you, but、uh, I was totally a player like that. My native instrument is electric guitar, and、uh, when I was in high school back then, I was so fascinated by blues and hard rock. I would spend up to eight hours just sitting there practicing my favorite guitar sounds during summer and winter vacation, and not for one day, but every day. As you remember, when I was practicing the whole note bending on the G string second fret, it hurt my middle finger's knuckle a lot. Cause I was using super heavy strings on my strat, you know, chasing for SRV's preference. And、uh, come on, I know I'm not alone, okay? But anyway, I put a lot of time and effort into instrument playing, and it was the only way for me to actively interact with music and、uh, enjoy it. Until years ago, around 2010, I joined my current band during college. Then I started to dig on sampler and synthesizer, and it changed my perspective about music playing entirely. Like I mentioned, I was a guitar player initially, but、uh, at the time I met other fellows in my band. They already have two guitar players, so if I bring my guitar in, then we might overlap with each other pretty badly. It's not really ideal for the music we are making. Therefore, my decision is to play some other instruments here and there to round up the music a little bit. For the instruments I could play, I would play it lively, like a harmonica. And、uh, yeah, I'm also an average harmonica player. And sometimes I also play guitar and bass, but for the instruments I couldn't play in order to make our music sounds fuller and rounder, I just played them with my iPad using GarageBand, and that was the gate-opening moment for me to the free electronic music world. I'm not even a keyboard player, but since I have some knowledge about music theory while learning guitar and other instruments, I just turn on the scale mode and play like this on stage. Especially when I'm playing organ solo during live show, and、uh, to be honest, I never even practiced piano or keyboard back then. Basically, I'm cheating on stage, and I have been cheating since 2010, almost 14 years already. But、uh, guess what? During each and every live show we have done through these 14 years, no audience cares if I'm playing with a real keyboard. Not a single one. All the feedbacks I get from my audience is their curiosity about how could I make such joyful sounds purely from my iPad. That's all. No one disrespects me for using fake instrument on my iPad. And this experience through these 14 years massively convinced me that、uh, as long as I can choose the proper sound and the proper note, play it at the proper time, then everyone will be satisfied, including my bandmates and our audience. No one cares how you played your notes or phrases, as long as they fit, then it'll be fine. And、uh, apparently, I'm not the only one who thinks this way. Every hip hop producer have been doing this even before I was born, and they are just a genius. Although a lot of them couldn't even play any instrument, but the skills they are crafting is choosing the right sound, then giving it the right timing. This is not the note level of playing. This is purely. Conducting, music producers are conducting everything in music just like a conductor. Or maybe I should say, it's more than conducting; it's directing. They are directing each and every sound element when it comes to music. And I think no one would deny that a director's work is creating, right? But the only problem is usually the way a music producer find the right sound. Would be using samples or directly sample others' music while create digging. And if you directly sample others' music and then use that piece as your ingredient, it will be considered as copyright infringement. But just like how graphic designers find their ingredients on stock image sites legally, producers also got their own online music library to explore. And、uh, let me introduce you today's sponsor, Tracklib. Tracklib is the online record store for sampling. You can sample up to 100k plus real sound from 
all decades and genres. And it's super easy to find loops and parts to sample. You can repitch the sample and even activate sidechain to the record you're previewing right on the website, which is super efficient for sample selecting. And the Tracklib ensures you that you can easily clear the record sample you found on Tracklib. Everything I mentioned might be well known already, but uh, here comes a more exciting news that Tracklib just launched a new service, Sounds, which is a huge library of royalty free sounds, or should I say, samples and loops. And the best part is, you don't need to add another subscription for the sounds service. Instead, you can get all the tracks and sounds you need from Tracklib within one subscription. And from my personal comparison, the package you can get is really competitive. For example, the tier I chose is premium. For $14.99, I can download up to 375 samples or 75 sounds for each month, which is more than enough to me. And you can also sign up today for free to get 100 credits to download sounds from Tracklib, which is 100 royalty-free samples. And I highly recommend you to check it out. Link in the description. I know some people don't like sponsorship videos, and I also seldom do sponsorship ones. But uh, once I do, I would choose the product and service I would personally use, so I can make sure that uh, it's a win-win to everyone. And I believe that uh, as long as you know what is the right sound and the right timing, then everyone can create their own music using Tracklib without any copyright issue. And uh, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed my tiny little story. Also, don't miss the opportunity to try out sounds on Tracklib for free. Link in the description. Like, share, and subscribe. You can also join my Finger Drummer 101 training on Patreon. I will show you how to become a Finger Drummer with purely a 25-key MIDI keyboard, which is a super practical skill for beat making. And uh, see you there. Peace. Sorry for my crappy playing, I'm just an average instrument player. <laughs>